Everyone knows the potential of DNA, but did you know its sister RNA can help your body develop its own medicines? At these research facilities in Tübingen, Germany, scientists are working to unveil the secrets of an elusive molecule. Its scientific name is messenger RNA and it has the potential to help the body cure itself. Messenger RNA is a fascinating molecule. You could say it was designed by nature to be a therapeutic agent. It provides a sort of construction scheme for our cells, and according to this scheme, human cells can produce any kind of protein. And this protein doesn't have to be of human origin. It can come from pathogens, bacteria or viruses. That's why the messenger RNA molecule can be used as a therapeutic agent to great effect. The immune system learns to recognize that the protein comes from a virus or a bacteria alien to the human body and so develops an immune response. We don't modify the RNA in a chemical way. We learn from nature and just look for natural elements that we can insert into the RNA so that we can improve the characteristics of this molecule. The biomolecule has a huge potential, researchers say. It can be used to develop new immunotherapies against cancer or prophylactic stable vaccines against infectious diseases. The main advantage of the production of RNA is that we're talking about a platform. We can always use the same production procedures independently from the molecule we're aiming at either a vaccine against cancer or a prophylactic vaccine, the production process is always the same. The only thing that we change is the information we provide to the process. In 2014, the research concept received the EU's first ever Innovation Inducement Prize aimed at European innovators seeking to deliver breakthrough solutions to specific issues. The scientists are now looking ahead at the potential of this platform. And when it comes to diseases like prostate cancer, they say the outlook is promising. Research gives us the starting point to move on to very different domains. It's almost limitless. We can go in so many different directions. Now the question is how to translate that into products that can be useful. When can we start delivering drugs to market? And we're currently performing clinical trials on prostate cancer patients. The first steps seem promising. If these studies are really conclusive, it will mean we're relatively close to our goal of marketing a first drug based on our technology. Other immunotherapies against lung cancer and the development of prophylactic vaccines that don't require a cold chain during transport and storage could soon follow.